Now that the case is machined, I'm just going to check a few clearances on things before it goes off for thorough cleaning. One of these is for the intermediate shaft, which is seen down here. Also, you can see one of the gears on it in there. The reason I'm checking this is that when the case halves are put together for line boring, if the two case halves aren't lined up accurately, then the hole here won't line up accurately with the hole here and it could bind on the intermediate shaft. And since I didn't bolt the case halves together and when they were bolted together, there were problems. I just want to check that. So all I've done is I've put the, the old bearings back in for the intermediate shaft and then I've bolted it down with the through bolts on here. I also had the nuts on here. Basically the intermediate shaft is held down, the, the bearings clamped down. There's one bearing here with those, another bearing here. So these have just been tightened down just to make sure that it all grips tightly. And with that all in place, the, the shaft still rotates nice and freely. Let me spin that around my fingers. There's no, there's no binding. So now that that's done, the next job I'm going to do is to fit the new bearings, the new oversized bearings, drop the new crankshaft in along with the intermediate shaft and then bolt it up again just to make sure everything rotates smoothly. I've now trial fitted the crankshaft into the crankcase. Everything's all running nice and smoothly in there, but I wanted to actually check the clearances more accurately. So to do that, I've used some plastic gauge. This is what plastic gauge looks like after it's been put in. But the, the basic process of, of using it, this is the plastic gauge strips here, because it's just little round strips. Just cut a length of that, and then you put it into the the new bearing half and then with that in the bearing half just hold it in place with a, a tiny bit of grease I'll just cut through to a photo here just showing it before it goes together then bolt the case together torque it all up and then take it apart and then once it comes apart you then basically measure the spread on it using this gauge I've got one side of it in, in millimeters and the other side in thousandths of an inch so the spec for these is from point 0 0.1 to 0 0.072 so basically from there to around this one so all you then do is you just check that against the width of the plastic gauge on there and you can see most of these were around about 0 0.05 so nice and consistent well within spec the only one that's slightly bigger is this one which is actually closer to 0 0.063 on there um, but they're let's say all very consistent and all within spec so I'm very happy with that I'm now going to take the crankshaft out to give the crankcases a thorough clean because there are various metal filings in it from where the machining was done previously so I, I made sure the mounting faces were clean and the bearing faces were all clean before I test fitted the crank but now it's time to get it all apart for a thorough clean